All right, so hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We've got an Honest Trailers in front of us, RRR. Now, this is obviously quite special for me as we've been covering Honest Trailers for years, and for the first time, they're doing an Indian movie, as far as I'm aware. When I first noticed this, I, I noticed simultaneously that it wasn't getting a gargantuan amount of views. Like, typically, Honest Trailers on Screen Junkies will get, like, somewhere in the vicinity of, like, a million to two million views or something like that. It depends, like, close to a million. Close to a million, yeah. Days. Knowing that it was not anywhere near its average average mark, I was like, well, let me give this a day so that, you know, they have time to collect views. And on that note, if you haven't seen the Honest Trailers original video yet, please do watch that before watching our, our reaction to it so that they can get more views off of it. Yeah, uh, or at least go there after you watch this. Give it another watch and give them an upvote as yeah. well. Then it lets them know that you guys appreciate that they did this and maybe they'll do more going forward. If you like the recognition of Indian films from the American side, Screen Junk is a huge channel so if they see there's a lot of feedback from India I think they'd be more likely to do this again so there you go uh, if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button bell icon all notifications and pretty please vote this up let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching here we go you've seen this give the ending of Slumdog Millionaire yes. <laughs> this is accurate and, um, Okay, look, I'm American, and I've never seen a full Indian film in my entire life. Mm -hmm. But that all has to change now that I've witnessed... Yes! R. 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 Scrap the f*** in for writer-director S.S. Rajamouli's epic historical action musical that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that American movies would be ten times better if Vin Diesel and The Rock could do this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, it's pretty amazing. I don't think so. <laughs> well, instead of using VFX to cut down on costs, they use it to make their stars do the impossible. Yeah. And pack in so much animal mayhem. <laughs> they had to put freaking oxen in the disclaimer. Oxen. <laughs> he brought a zoo. Follow the story of two real historical figures, though I'm pretty sure they never did this together. Yes, this was awesome. Raju is a Delhi police officer who's always hot. <laughs> Bean is a jungle warrior who's always wet. When fate makes them all hot and wet together, <laughs> their bond grows so powerful, it transcends words. That's right, because they just get each other, you know? As these two brothers in arms speak the universal language of beatdowns. <laughs> the universal Dance language battles. of beatdowns and dance battles. Wow. And casual horse versus motorcycle beach racing. That's just something they do in an hour friends montage. It's not even part of the plot. Just beautiful stuff, man. So far, they have yet to make fun of this movie. I mean, we're halfway through, so I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. But they have yet to make an actual legit criticism or joke. No, well, they've made jokes, but they're like, but like that, at in, the expense of the movie no, hasn't happened yet. yet. Not yeah. yet. They're just like really. It's just really funny. I'm enjoying this a lot so far. I'm like. Well, this might be one of my favorite honest trailers. Delve into a history and culture you probably have zero non-racist references for, but you've seen enough Michael Bay movies to wonder, am I watching propaganda right now? This looks like Captain America's USO show. But whatever they're selling to Indians, one message is clear to the entire world. Seriously, f the British, <laughs> as the British range from evil. <laughs> To demonic. I want to see his neck drawn out tight and his eyes bulge and pop just before his neck snaps. To holy sh that woman carries a spiked whip between her legs I know. just in case someone he's torturing. Aren't you quite vicious, my dear? In a portrayal that's so negative, it got an actual Englishman to pin a rebuttal of mild annoyance. <laughs> my word, what an off putting display. <laughs> that's so English. <laughs> Settle in for a three-hour runtime. So, the did, did the English 
think that they don't have like a, a severely negative history? Do the English really think they didn't do fucking irreparable damage? I think it may be that it's just hard to reconcile what people think of who they are now with who they were in the past. The English people today aren't the ones from 50 to 100 years ago or, or further back. It's like, you're not the bad guy. Your parents were though. Like, that's all you got to acknowledge. No Indians or dogs allowed. You have to acknowledge right. that, you, you know, you have ancestry that did that shit. You didn't. They did. There's room for action, dancing, singing, comedy, politics, and romance. Yeah. Not between the leads, but yeah, there's definitely some tension there. <laughs> Like the romance between Raju and Sita, a girl who waited four years for her man to pick up something from the store. <laughs> when you put it like and that. And the romance between Beam and Jenny, a story of how true love overcomes all, even not knowing a single word the other person's saying. I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Sorry? Oh, I wish I knew what you were saying. I'm sorry. Jenny, good some Jenny. Aw, I'm rooting for these two. Just be careful about the in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> so strap in for the year's most eye-popping, crowd-pleasing spectacle that yes. brings a joy to action filmmaking not seen since Stephen Chow or James Cameron that will have even the most jaded Hollywood moviegoer dancing in the aisles and rushing to catch up on at least 50 years of Tolly and Bollywood films to see what they've missed. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Diwali, folks. I think I'm going to like it here. <laughs> Starring... Raj against the machine. <laughs> Brit- <laughs> that was great. That's great, you guys. Good job. Good job. Raj against the machine. Red rule can melt steel beams. The uh-huh. village people. The village oh. Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Colonial War Zone. Oh my god. Also from the last crusade, I did not see that coming. Uh, and hey. summoning all your strength like a dang DBZ character. Ah, uh, yeah. I told you, it's like anime. <laughs> and there ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> exactly. Super Saiyan. BFF. BFF. Yes. BFF. That's right. It's all about friendship. Can we import this movie stunt coordinator to fix superhero flicks over here? And not just because he's great, because his name is King Solomon. <laughs> that was fun. That was a really, really fun, honest trailer. And, like, they didn't really say anything bad about it. They made some jokes, but, like, they were careful about the jokes they were making this time around. And I, I, I guess because maybe it was born out of so much love for the movie. The thing about RRR is, like, while we are familiar with Indian films and it wasn't, you know, crazy new to us, I can imagine how it is for Americans who just are looking for something fre- refreshing, you know? Well, yeah, and especially if your only frame of reference is, like, oh, Indian films are just cheesy dance numbers and like romance or whatever or like you think that uh, Indian films are Slumdog Millionaire which it's not we all know that it's not yeah but that is a common res- uh, uh, that is misunderstanding exactly yeah. and so when you watch something like RRR as an American you're like Wait, what? Yeah. Like, it can have all of these different flavors and still tell an incredible story and just be a fun movie to watch. We don't really get that. Exactly. Yeah. Anyways, you guys. Yeah, they definitely portrayed the English to be super duper villainous. But I think that we can also look at this kind of through the lens of, yes, historically, the English did some horrendous things there, but then also, this is also a movie too, and we need to have a good villain. Was he a good villain? Were they good villains? Yes, absolutely. While there might be a degree of propaganda or jingoism, I think it's warranted given what the English have done. Right, but also it's interesting to me because I have heard from other British friends, English friends, when they're faced with some of the the things that maybe Indians say about the British rule in India, they do get a little bit defensive and they're all like, but like, 
we gave them railways and did this, that, and yeah, the you other. Yeah, you all came and in and took away jobs from that. You wouldn't allow Indians to participate in civil work, civil duties, and and you you called them savages. And it was like, and no, you took I'm not, their resources. I'm not. I'm like, not denying that. Uh, not you, obviously. I know, but I'm just it's saying. It's all Char's fault. <laughs> You know my family ties to India, right? Like, my grandfather worked for the British government right. during, like... Under Cornwallis. Uh, no, no, I'm just kidding. He's I'm not just, that old. I don't know. They were there all the way up until independence. I understand that there were things that were inherently wrong with the system, but what I like about this movie as well is while they showed that there were some British people who were truly heinous and evil, there was still a glimmer of hope in the, the, white the young ladies. woman. <laughs> It's always the white ladies that are the good one. Maybe. It's like it worked in Dungal. Not Dungal. Uh, in uh, um, Lagan. It worked in Lagan. It's going to work here, too. Yeah. But, I mean, there's got to be a balance, right? Because not everyone, ev- not everyone I, okay. was fully evil. Just to be devil's advocate, a balance would have been if you had some white dudes that were opposed to this awful British law. Sure. That would have been more balanced. But having the white lady be the one who's like, oh, we're not all bad. It's like, well... <clears throat> This is going back to the whole fuckability factor, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there. So, let's like call a spade a spade. And, and the fantasy, or the fa- this is what I'm saying. Yeah, of of the Asian guy getting with the white lady, yeah. right? That's which, honestly, I'm okay with. I, I'm I'm fine with it. Please, I, but I'm, let's I'm have not, more of it. I'm not afraid to call a spade a spade. So, let's be real. 